I'm Jess, and welcome to Jess Science, science for everyone. Today we're going to be looking at bubble shapes. Now to do this, you're going to need to make your own bubble mixture. You could do this by using water at home and some washing up liquid. Um, so you're going to need a container for it as well. And so what I used here is six parts water. So I use six cups of water and one cup of the washing up liquid. Maybe ask your parents if it's okay for you to use it first. You're also going to need a bubble wand. So what I'm trying out first of all is a pipe cleaner here. And so you can dip your pipe cleaner in and gently give it a blow and see if you can make a bubble. There we go. If you're finding your bubbles aren't strong enough, you can add a little bit of glycerin. If you have it around, about one teaspoon to one tablespoon should help it out a bit. And even leaving it overnight can help make your bubble mixture just a little bit stronger. So what we're going to be looking at is why bubbles are the shape that they are. So bubbles have what's called the minimal surface area. Now that's a big concept, but what I want you to do is I want you to stretch out. I want you to make yourself as big as possible, as big as possible. Now curl up and make yourself as small as possible. Now if you're all curled up as small as you possibly can be, what kind of shape do you think you'd look like? Well, you'd kind of look like a sphere. And that's because that's the same thing that happens with our bubbles, is that's the smallest amount of surface area that it makes. Now, what is the biggest ingredient in a bubble? It's actually air, the air inside of it. And what we have is kind of a water sandwich. So the bubble itself, the film, is water surrounded by a layer of soap on the outside and a layer of soap on the inside. You can think of the soap as the bread and the water as whatever is going in that sandwich there. And and we dip it in and we blow, we're adding the air part and it's as big as how much air we put into it. <laughs> we can try a few other things for our bubble wands. We've got these cookie cutters here. So I've got a cookie cutter over here and if I dip that in again, whoop, Try that out. And Ooh. if you missed that, we'll do it one more time. And bubbles can be a little bit tricky. That's okay if they pop sometimes. Might take a few tries. Woohoo! And <laughs> we saw that our pumpkin shape still made a sphere. <laughs> now you may be asking, can you get a different shape? And yes, you can, and that's what we're gonna be trying today. So for this, you're going to need four straws that you're going to cut into three pieces and pipe cleaners. So I've got my pipe cleaners here. So I've kind of got the smaller size. So I need eight of these or you can cut four into two um, smaller halves. So we have our pieces over here and our pipe cleaners. What we're going to do is we are going to make a cube wand. You can fold the pipe cleaner. There we go. So it makes this shape here. And then with that, I can stick the corners of the straws in. And that allows me to connect three straws nice and easily. Now the tip of the pipe cleaner might be a bit sharp. So if you can tuck it into another corner, that's great as well. So now we just do that for the rest of them. Let's take a look. cube shape. So now we just need a wand to dip it in so we'll do that and that's why I made as much bubble solution as I did is because for this part we do want it to be able to fully be immersed in the solution. So let's dip this in here all the way, pull it out and see what shape it is. 
So it looks like it's all connecting in the middle there. And again, that's because it's trying to get as least surface area as possible. But now if we do it one more time, this time, I'm going to take another wand here and blow a bubble in the center. Let's see what happens. Whoop. <laughs> Sometimes it does pop and again, that's all right. Let's try it out again. Now, I don't know if you can see that at home, but I have managed to make a cube bubble by putting a bubble right in the center there. So I challenge you to give that a try. Maybe see if you can also make a different type of 3D shape with your straw and your pipe cleaners. And what happens if you try and put a bubble inside of that? Give it a go. We'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.